Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Mr. Nightingale here, and today we're going to be trying out Shein wigs. So I've never actually tried out anything from Shein before, but I have gotten some questions in the past about whether or not I would recommend them. So today we're going to be trying out Shein wigs to find out. So I ordered one, two, three, four, five, six wigs total. Six wigs total. And it actually looks like they came in pairs, meaning that there are different brands here within Shein, uh, I guess. I don't really know how it works, but it looks like I got two from each brand. So that's just a lucky coincidence, I guess. Now, there wasn't really any like rhyme or reason for the ones that I bought. I just kind of picked out any random ones. But I did try to get wigs that had bangs just because I feel like they're more realistic and more beginner friendly. But I mean, hey, if this goes well, we can explore their lace fronts too. All right, well, let's not waste any time. Let's just go ahead and try these on. So these first two wigs I think are really interesting because it looks like they're from Hair Cube, which is a brand that I see on Amazon a lot. And I actually reviewed one Hair Cube wig before. I have it linked right up here so you can check it out. But I was really surprised to see that they had this. I guess they're in collaboration with them as well. Let's open these up and see what's inside. Oh wow. This is actually really pretty. And look at the root on this wig. It's like a nice soft brown root, maybe like a dark blonde, light brown, very pretty. And I love the length and the waves. Yeah, so cute. So I'm just looking at my computer over here to figure out which one this one is. And it looks like this is the natural long curly wig with bangs. And I got this one for $19. Okay, cool, let's try it on. Okay, wait. <laughs> wow, we're off to a really great start. I think this wig is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I wasn't expecting this. Look at this hair, look at this color. Oh my goodness, and let me show you the length. So beautiful. Of course, the bangs could use like a light trim, you know, match it up to your face shape, but <laughs> overall, this looks realistic and is super beginner friendly. I'm in love with this one. 10 out of 10, for sure. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is so pretty, oh my goodness. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess let's see the next one. So this next one is also by Hair Cube, so let's see, let's check it out. Okay, so we've got a long blonde one. Interesting. Okay, let's see which one this one is. Okay, so it looks like this one is the natural long synthetic wig with bangs, and I paid $18 for this one. So let's try this one on and see what it's looking like. Oh wait, I am so sorry. I actually forgot to um, brush it because I got so excited. So here's what it looks like, brushed out. Very beautiful, and I didn't get any tangling or any shutting. Okay, sorry. On to the next one. Okay, so here's the next one. Um, this is definitely like a no for me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to give this like a, I don't know, like a four out of 10. I mean, it's not bad, and honestly, I think it could look good on someone else, but um, yeah, I don't know. I just don't like it. Honestly, this one was shutting. Um, a ton. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but uh, yeah, that's terrible. That's a no-go for me. And honestly, I don't like these little... I don't... I don't know. I think they're called like Hime pieces or something. Uh, don't quote me on that. I could be wrong. I'll look it up and I'll post it on the screen somewhere. Also, these are supposed to be like, you know, straight across bangs. I, I put them to the side just because, again, they're too long, so I need to go in and cut them. But honestly, um, I'm gonna definitely be returning this one. I just, I, I don't know, I don't like it. And this color, it looked really pretty on the site, but in person, I just don't like it. Or, or maybe I just don't like it on me, I don't know. I think if these pieces were gone, like if this was maybe like, oh, well, that's already a little bit better, I don't know. But yeah, if these pieces were gone, maybe cut short, maybe they were actually a part of the bang or something. Um, yeah, I think it might look a bit better. For me, this one's a no. I don't know why this color looks like this. I mean, it's not ugly at all, which is the other thing. Like, I don't think it's ugly. I just don't think it suits me. Also, here's the length on this one. Yeah. 
you know what? Maybe I'm judging it too harshly because if you take this and do like a ponytail or something with it, yeah. I actually think that doesn't look bad. It's it's a lot cuter. I think these pieces look better when the hair is either up or half up or maybe, yeah, maybe this just needs to be styled. Maybe right now it's just so bleh to me. I don't know. Let's say, okay, let's say a six out of 10 because I do think you can work with it and you can find a way to style it that's going to look nice. But right out of the bag, I'm just not like in love with it. Yeah, let's look, um, Let's look at the next one. So here's the next wig right over here. Let's just open it up. I am dying to take this one off of my head. Oh, okay. This is interesting. Got a dark root. So this one's a short one. Um, <laughs> I already don't like it because I hate when wigs do this thing where they have like the top layer has a dark root and then nothing else does, but who knows? <laughs> Maybe it'll look better. Let's see. Going off of the photos, I think, oh, that's not good. Okay, well, going off of the photos, I think that this one is the natural straight wig with bangs and this one cost me $13. So, okay, that makes sense. So $13, let's see, let's find out. <laughs> okay, so I've got really mixed feelings about this one. So this one I think is actually supposed to be like curtain bangs based on the photo, or you could cut it to be straight across bangs, but I thought it would be a bit more dramatic if I did like just a side bang, and honestly I kind of like it. I feel like it's very editorial, I think it would be great for like a photo shoot or something, but again because of the way that that rooting is done, um, I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of that like top layer rooting and then nowhere else. It kind of defeats the purpose. I guess it saves money, but I don't know. It, it just, it doesn't look good when you move around. So for photos, I love this wig. I think it would be like a 10 out of 10, but for every day, I guess I'll say like a five out of 10, just because of that rooting alone. Also, the other two were very big head friendly. This one I would say is Still big head friendly, but definitely a bit tighter. Probably better for like an average sized head. That being said, I mean, I love this cut. I think there's a lot of potential here. It's got a lot of nice layers, a lot of great movement. Yeah, I think it's all about how you style this one. You know, you could kind of like feather these outward or you could tuck them all in. I don't know, I just feel like there's a lot to work with here. Okay, wow, so far so good. I'm actually really surprised considering how affordable these are. I mean, like, again, $13, I mean, that's nothing. This is pretty good for $13. And honestly, I would probably just wear this wig with a hat on. It's actually kind of nice. Although I do feel like the bride of Chucky in it. Anyway, on to the next one. Interesting. Okay, I know exactly which one this one is. And wow, I'm actually really loving that nice soft root that they did on there. Very nice, blonde on blonde. You don't see that very often. This one is called the Natural Short Curly Wig with Bangs, and it was $16. All right, let's try it on. You know what? This is actually a moment. <laughs> not for me, it's not my moment, but for someone else, yeah, this would be super cute. I actually really love that light rooting that they did. Oh my gosh, so cute. You know, I've noticed that none of these have been particularly shiny, which is great. Like for the price, you're getting pretty good quality wigs. Although interestingly enough, I feel like the quality is lacking in the construction. A lot of them on the inside, like there's a lot of loose threads, some weird stitching going on. I don't know, it looks like, I don't know, it kind of looks like manufacturing error or... Eh. Listen, you get what you pay for. That's all I have to say. But surprisingly, all of these have been big head friendly so far, which is great. This one, again, need to trim up the bangs, but all in all, yeah, I would definitely give this one a 10 out of 10 as well. This one's really cute. And honestly, if you can pull off this look, like the girl in the product photo looked amazing. So definitely give this one a try. Actually, I just looked at the product photo and the girl in the photo had like a dark root and this is a light root. So if you bought this expecting a dark root, yeah, you'd probably be disappointed. I mean, I still think it looks nice. I like this soft root. I think it looks, I don't know, natural, like you just bleached your hair or something. But yeah, I'm now realizing that it's not the same. Huh. Okay, 
So I'm definitely going to say a 5 out of 10 for this one because that's really disappointing if you wanted that exact look. Yeah, you're not going to get it with this one. But all in all, I mean, pretty good wig nonetheless. Okay, let's look at the next one. So it looks like this next one is from the brand Alice Garden. I don't know. I haven't really heard of it. So let's check it out. Okay. Oof. My tag is sticking out, don't worry about that. Okay, so here she is. Oof, this is one I was very excited for. So this one is called the Two-Tone Long Straight Synthetic Wig with Bangs. And this one was $16. Hmm. Okay, well, let's try her on. Okay, so far, um, I think I'm most disappointed by this one. I mean, it's not bad or like, ugly it just doesn't look like the product photos to me sorry i'm looking at the product photo down over here i feel like in the product photo this color looks a lot softer like a very dark brown soft black type of color but in person it's i don't know it's just it's very dark and it's very plasticky looking yeah i'm not i'm not loving it i think Yeah, I don't know. There's something about it. I think it could be like, you could work with it, you know? I think it could look nice um, if you did something like a behind the ear or something. Ugh. I don't know. I guess my point is that it does have potential, but if I saw that product photo and I got this, I just don't feel like it looks the same. I, I can't... I can't even place it, but look, I'll just put it like right over here side by side so you can see what I'm talking about. Again, these bangs do need to be trimmed, so you know, that's with all of them. And that's intentional, I feel. Um, I feel like a lot of people always complain that like, oh my god, they always come so long. Yeah, everyone's got a different face shape, sweetie. It's so that you can trim it and match it to your face shape. Anyway, that being said, here's how long this one is. Honestly, for once in my life, I feel like all of these look better with the hair behind you than actually in front. Okay, so on to the last one. So this one, again, also by Alice Garden. Right over here, let's just go ahead and open her up. The color is really pretty. The hair feels a lot better than this one does. It's a bit fuller. And this one is called the Two-Tone Long Curly Synthetic Wig with Bangs. Honestly, how do they even keep track of these names? They're all the same. Well, anyways, let's just try her on. Okay, this one's a little bit better. Oh, actually, um, I think I forgot to rate this one. Um, <sighs> I'm gonna go with like, I don't know, a three or a four out of 10. A four is being generous, I feel like. I don't know, this one just really disappointed me, so I'm just not for it. Anyway, back to this one. Yeah, this one's really cute. I love the color. Again, the bangs need to be trimmed, yada, 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 blah, 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 you know. It's not tangling, it's not shutting, I really do like this one. But I did notice that these last two wigs from Alice Garden are smaller. They're significantly smaller than the other wigs. The other ones were very big head friendly. These, um, yeah, I can barely get them on. I would definitely recommend them for like a petite to average head, but I wouldn't recommend them for like an average to large. I mean, that all being said, I do think this one's cute. Here's the length on this one. I would definitely rate this one, hmm, let's see. I guess... Probably like an eight, right? Like, it's pretty, it's nice. I think if you cut the bangs and fit it to your face shape, I think you'd be great. But yeah, I don't think it's like particularly special. There's a few things that I noticed about all of them, like the part um, is the exact same on pretty much all of them. The construction is the exact same. There isn't anything special about it. There's uh, no combs, no nothing. All you have are the adjustable straps in the back. <sighs> yeah. This is interesting. You know, I feel really bad actually because the first one that I tried, wherever it is, this first one that I tried, this pink one, I would definitely recommend. And actually pretty much anything from Haircube, I think now that I've seen a few of them, I would probably recommend it if you're looking for like a cheaper alternative. But these other ones, I don't know. It's very hit or miss. I honestly don't like most of these. I feel like I was pretty generous with my rating for each one. So yeah. Sorry, I don't mean to be negative, but on a positive note, I do think that all of these could work really well for like a photo shoot. And honestly, I think they would all look a lot better with a hat on. So 
all in all, I don't think that they're bad. I think, especially if you just, I don't know, want to try like a new wig or like maybe you are new to the wig world and you just want to try it for the first time, this could be a really good option for you. But I could see myself, if these were the first wigs that I ever tried, I could see myself being turned off to the idea and maybe not trying something better or higher quality just because of that. And honestly, I would recommend just getting wigs on sale because there are much better quality wigs out there that you could get around the same price point that won't leave you as disappointed, at least in my opinion. I don't want to feel like this at the end of the video. Let me actually, <laughs> let me actually go put on that pink one again because that would make me really happy. Okay, so all in all, I would definitely recommend this wig and um, that's about it. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. I mean, I'm not like fully kidding, but I'm kidding. I feel like the quality is definitely hit or miss. I would probably recommend that you look at not just the product photos, but the actual photos in the reviews. I think that those are a lot more accurate to what you get. So definitely check those out, look at reviews, see what people are posting, see which one looks how you want it to look. And I mean, you know, make an informed decision. <laughs> I do feel like I might want to try this again. I bought some very affordable ones, but maybe if I paid just a little bit more money, there might be more quality. Like, I think this was one of the most expensive ones that I got, and it ended up being pretty good quality for what you get. So let's see, maybe I'll do that next time. Please let me know if this is the kind of video that you guys want to see more of. Again, I've never tried something like this, so if you're interested, just let me know. As always, if anyone's interested in any of these units, I'll have them linked down below in the description so you can check them out. All right, everyone, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and I'll see you next week. Bye everyone!